welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Many people think ventilation is simply about getting fresh air into a building or room. But hospitals are very large buildings with many types of rooms, and the heating and air conditioning system is quite complex. As a result, getting fresh air to all the rooms can be a real challenge. Air circulation can impact the spread of disease, so our building engineers find ways to rise to the challenge. Hospitals use a multi-layer approach to ensure that patients are getting the right amount of ventilation. Every room in a hospital has an established number of air changes per hour that are determined by building codes. Air changes per hour, or ACH, are simply how many times within one hour the air in a room must be completely replaced. Think of this like your clothes dryer at home. In order for your clothes to get dry, the dryer has a fan to force the old air out of the vents and pull in new air. The heating and air conditioning systems serving all the rooms in a hospital work the same way, using fans to move air throughout the building. But there are more layers involved to help contain the spread of germs. To make sure that all rooms get some fresh outside air, those same building codes dictate how many of those ACH must come from outside and how many ACH can be recycled. The recycled air mixes with the fresh outdoor air and is filtered before it is sent back throughout the building. The minimum fresh outside air changes per hour in any room in a hospital is two. So that means two times every hour, the air is replaced with fresh outside air. However, because the air coming into the room mixes with the air that's already there, the air isn't brand new each time. That's why if you're trying to get rid of germs or other substances in the air, it takes a certain number of air changes to clear. Another layer of ventilation protection is removing all the air from a room and sending it straight outside instead of recycling it. Think about it. There are some areas in a hospital like laboratories, waiting rooms, and restrooms that we just don't want the air to be recycled. Applying the ventilation requirements for each room can help protect staff, patients, and visitors. Engineers use a table created by the CDC to determine the time required for the germs in the air to be removed. By knowing the number of ACH in a room, we know when staff can go into the room safely without personal protective equipment. The facilities and maintenance team know the ventilation requirements for each type of room, so check with them to learn more or if you have any questions.